you know, stay in. You've got to stay here for this one. As an animal lover, you, you might like this. It's the story of a uh, talking cat kind of. During the pandemic, hundreds of thousands of people around the world have been watching videos of Charlie Tuna, the Bristol cat, who has had rather a lot to say for himself, as Andy Howard found out. Right, Charlie Tuna, Bristol cat here. The words that thousands of people wait for every single week. Right, Charlie Tuna, Bristol cat here. Charlie Tuna has an opinion on most things, from Covid... As you've got PPE, that, you know, that personal perspiring equipment. To the football. Where's your glasses, ref? That were a penalty. To Halloween. I think it's called Halloween, cos if a monster said hello to I, I'd wee myself and all. There are hundreds of videos, all put together on an app by Charlie's human, as he calls her. 95% of what Charlie says are true stories of what he gets up to. And um, obviously there's an element of my twisted view of things. <laughs> They've been down Severn Beach. Although I don't know why it's called a beach, cos I looked at the photos and it just seemed like rocks and mud to I. That's not beach, is it? When I'm trying to sound a bit posh, obviously, I don't sound too Bristolian, but like when I'm talking like Charlie, I like proper puts on a South Bristol accent. So apparently there's only gone and had a little Barbara Griller at Bristol Zoo and Gardens. Charlie Tuna is so popular that fans now request personalised messages. Well, you've been through the wars, haven't you, my love? And he has this very special one for us tonight. Thanks so much for inviting me on air. It's lovely to see you all, me babbers. Well, from Andy, me human and I, stay safe. Stay alert, me babbers. Laters! Aww. Thank you, Charlie. Quite a character, isn't he? Now, it's time.